20 years of spinning records. That's two decades of great artists and ongoing highlights, but most important of all, great music. A lot's happened in those 20 years. That's why we've asked our DJs to share some of their best memories of spinning records. In this episode, Jay Hardway. I think I was around like 15, 16, and I was also just starting to make music. But after a while, I just realized, hey, so many tracks are from spinning records. And it kind of became the big label in EDM where everybody wanted to sign. Uh, I started making music on my computer. Uh, I didn't have many shows yet. I played at parties of friends and I was hoping to have one day a release on label like Spinning Records. Yeah, and then I came in contact with uh, a couple of guys in the scene, uh, including Martin Garrix, and he introduced me to Spinning Records. And from there it went really fast. I uh, had a couple of releases and my career was born. Jay's first release on Spinning Records became a huge hit, but there was still a long road to take. Jay Hardway wanted a solo release to prove himself, which he did, and the rest is history. Uh, so I was 22 when I got signed, and Wizard blew up. It became like number seven in the UK charts. After that, I had, a, I had no release planned yet. The pressure then really builds up, especially because I still had the feeling I had to prove myself. Luckily, after that came my track Bootcamp, uh, and that was my first solo release. It really gave me confidence again to uh, work on new stuff and finish new stuff. Jay Hardway was warmed up after Bootcamp. He was ready for the future and produced his next big hit, a song that was played on the main stages at famous festivals everywhere. We're talking about Electric Elephants. Electric Elephants was uh, the track that uh, really settled me in the scene as a producer. A lot of DJs played it. It was played on all like big stages like Tomorrowland, uh, Ultra. That showed like, hey, this, this guy here to stay. If you, if you can see all the flights I did, all the shows I did, um, the crazy parties I experienced, it's like, yeah, it's just overall been crazy. The biggest thing I, I love about working with Spinning Records is the people that work at Spinning Records. Uh, I think that always came in the first place. Like we worked together, and uh, like Jorn, the A and R, was always a good friend of mine, and um, also like a kind of coach, music-wise, but also personally. And I think that uh, worked really well. And I think Jorn especially really understands music and like dance music and what's coming. Importantly, he has a lot of passion for the music. For, for Spinning Records, I think it's like amazing for them. They became the center of electronic dance music, bringing it to the mainstream. Uh, Spinning has, has played a huge part in uh, especially getting young talent that was like hidden in uh, basements and in bedrooms out there yeah th th that's the cool thing about dance music like anyone can uh, can produce it uh, so if you have a good idea you can become world famous Just want to say big congratulations to Spinning Records for being here for 20 years already. Uh, and let's go for that other 20 years and maybe after that, many more years. <laughs>